From the top then, Frodon. What a game win it was at Aintree. Handicap's reaction to 162 means he's got to concede upwards of eight pounds. A mammoth task. Mr Whitaker, the buzz horse for this. He won at the festival in the novice handicap. He came back with a win at Carlisle, but has that just taken him above the high rating? He's bound to run well, and if he wins, he's class. Javert chased home Frodon. He's slightly better off at the weights at Aintree last time on his return. Prolific, this horse, but he didn't look happy on his sole run here in 2016. Benatar, smart second season chase of a Gary Moore and the pick of his son, Jamie. Will he settle even in this big field? That's the worry. Rather be a huge player, an anti-post plunge. Why? Because he's £11 better off with Mr Whitaker on that head running at the festival. He's got his ground, what's not to like? Calandra likes it here, two runs, move like a dream. Ground absolutely fine, but coming here after a fall, how will he have taken it? Baron Elko, I'm hoping this one can take flight. He's absolutely consistent, personified this horse, and what a comeback run after his layoff at Chepstow. Just look at his previous festival run here, Road to Respect. This is the form horse. Shantou Village, a good run here last time considering the ground was against him, but the drop back in trip, and is he that bit too exposed? West approach, Colin Tizard, he's going to be a tear away this. Could this drop back in trip be in his favour? Could run one at a big price? Splash of Ginge, last year's winner. Again, has it been a bit of a rush prep for him though this time around? At his £7 higher. Happy Diva, really likeable mare this. Went close with Mr Whitaker on her return at Carlisle. But is she classy enough? That's the question. Move with the times. Oh, he's got a tall reputation this. Why? Because he's talented, but he's also extremely quirky. Jumping the issue. King Sox, pretty expensive to follow this for the pipe team that used to farm this race. But he's had a wind operation and he is well handicapped on his French form. Can see him going well. Romain de Sanam, Paul Nichols, fifth last year off a higher mark, but he has become a little bit quirky, hard to catch right, and he comes with a bit to prove. Bally Andy, that champion bumper win seems a long time ago. He's gone close in a bet fair hurdle behind move with the times, but again, does he really like chasing? I don't think he does. Jordi Deschamps, another one for JP McManus. He's an underachiever, this. He's got some Cheltenham form, but I just don't think he's good enough. Guitar Pete, Nicky Richards, Brian Hughes on. That's a big plus, but that's about as far as it gets. He did win the Caspian Caviar off a lower mark last year, but I just think he's too exposed. Willie Boy, should have won on his return at Weatherby, and I think he's got in lightly here. Can see him going well at a price, if he takes to the track. Eamon the Shock, the pipe second string. Well, he needs softer ground than this. I don't think he's good enough anyway. Who shot who? Decent team, isn't it? Dr. Richard Newland, and he's two from three over fences. Could go well off a lightweight, just slightly out of the handicap for good reason. Black Scorpion, Irish Raider this. Irish haven't won for a long time, probably for a good reason, and this was a former pointer. It's going to be sharp. Absolutely feel this place buzzing, and who's going to be the top three? Reverse order. Coming in third place, I think Calandra will go well. If he stands up, he's got to go well, this horse. Rather be to take the second place for Nicky Henderson. Everything in his favour. Goes well fresh. But the winner of this year's Bet Victor Gold Cup, I think, will be Baron Alco, the model of consistency. Gary Moore can take it out.